Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Kerbal Space Program. I, myself, am Mark Five Snipes, and how the fuck are you? Um, yeah, so we're back at Kerbal Space Program on the Mark Five Space Program. Here to complete mission 2. Because last episode, we completed a simple mission of going straight up. And not quite straight back down, because I fucked up. I'm not very good at this game. Forgive me, if you will. So, back to our, uh, building zone. And I will quickly refer to the mission brief to find out exactly what the fuck we're doing today. Right! Mission M5 SP-02 Circular Orbit to Prepare a ship to complete the first circular, non-decaying orbit of Kerbin. Complete ten orbits before returning to Kerbin. Now, that shouldn't be too hard, but somehow I know I'm gonna royally fuck this up. Right. Okay, okie doke. What are we going to do? Well, we want to do 10 orbits, so, you know, it's just an orbit. It's not like it's going to the moon or anything, so I should be able to do this using Mark 1. Um, yeah, let's get out the usual command pod. Let's plonk this up here somewhere. And we'll probably just name this mission straight away, so... I don't even care if I get it wrong. I know it's probably inconsistent, but who gives a shit? Not me. Right. That's our epic, epic, epic rocket. How good is this? It's going to go all the way. No problems. Okay. Thing I like to do straight away, parachute. Now, I'm going to do something different with this one. This isn't going to be a straight up stage two, you know, easy peasy rocket. This one's got to be able to do a couple different stages to get it into a nice high orbit over Kerbin. As well as return back after completing a few, well, several orbits of the, of the, uh, the planet. So... I don't know what I'm doing in here. What am I doing? I've forgotten how to build rockets. Okay, well, let's just make the actual orbiter. So, we'll start with that. Actually, we need an SAS system in there, so we'll chuck that in. Alright. And obviously, we need to have a decoupler on there, which I've forgotten about. Let's just plonk that in on there. Right, so, easy start. Could have just probably loaded in um, 0, 1. And probably would have been a quicker process, but anywho. Okie doke. Now we want to assemble a small, not very powerful rocket. This is just going to be for the actual uh, flying in space. So let's maybe put on this little guy. Right. And then we'll put another decoupler on. And cover up that engine good and nice. Right. Um, it's got to be able to maneuver in space, so it's going to need a few things. We're going to put in some RCS thingos just at the top here and at the bottom to make sure that we've got plenty of movement ability, which also means that we'll need some RCS tanks, so we'll plonk them on in a second. But now, first of all, we need to put on some wings so that it can uh, stay straight because this is the orbiter. We want it to be able to do some cool stuff while it's in space. We might even go for a spacewalk here. This could be a spacewalking opportunity. Those are big and ugly. Let's put these on. They look a little bit more streamlined and space-like. Goody good. Alright, so um, that's pretty much it. I need to plonk on a RCS tank though. Um, I think there's a new one for this. There you go. There's these ones here. Uh, probably don't want four of them because I'm not exactly intending on wasting too much so we'll just plonk two on and we'll get rid of these and just put two of them on as well so we'll have two there and the RCS, RCS tanks like that okay that's fine right now we need to get to stage two of the rocket which is well, it's actually I think it's gonna go down in stages but I don't care boy I do not care Right, so that's a very light rocket. Um, I probably won't need to send it up with an orange tank. But I really like the power that you can get out of those. I, I guess I can give it a go. Let's just go with this for now. So we'll just go with a nice thin rocket design because we don't want to be too heavy. We just want to go straight up, easy peasy. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll, we'll stick with the LVT-30 liquid engines. No reason not to. And we'll plonk. We'll put a few friends for this one, I think. We'll have a. Let's go with a four set up here. Right. And we will need to plonk those on. Just like that. 
So there you go, that's going to be the lower half of the ship, and we'll also need to put some engines on them. For this, we will use the same LBT-30s, whatever they're called. Alright, now, here's a tutorial on advanced rocket design. It'd be all well and good to send this rocket off as it is right now. You know, it's got some engines, it's uh, got some things to make it go, it's, all, you know, it's not bad. The problem is, it's not going to get anywhere near where we want it to, because it is uh, carrying a lot of dead weight. It is firing all five engines and carrying five tanks of fuel, which is actually really inefficient if you think about it. So what we're going to try and do is set up some fuel lines, which are in the fuel deposit here, and set up a fueling system which slowly decreases the amount of fuel. Um, I'm sounding a bit like a bit of an idiot here, but I'm trying to explain it really simply because I don't even know. <laughs> I don't fucking I don't even know what I'm doing either. So um, I fucked up already because. I can't actually place these on in fours, I have to place them on in two, like that. And then we can go control Z and uh, fuck that up entirely. <laughs> uh, let's put that there and then press control Z. There you go, that worked that time. So, put two on, make sure that they're good and even, then grab another two and plonk them on in relatively the same place, a little bit higher, that's fine, doesn't need to be right on exactly even, so that's fine. Okay, so now we'll get out the fuel lines and we will attach fuel from these two guys here into the center tank. What this will do is, once these have completely depleted, um, the fuel in this one will start being used. So all the engines at the moment, these, uh, these three engines will be relying on fuel from these four fuel tanks. And to do the same thing again, we're going to put these onto here which is now meaning that all five engines are going to be burning off the two tanks that are on the exterior here and they will empty themselves first which means they need to decouple first so that means we need to go into here and locate our two first to go which is these two here so we'll make a new sequence for them and just like that and they will decouple once they're out of fuel and when the other two go out they'll decouple as well so that's fine uh, we do have all of our engines here except for one. Don't know where that's gone. There it is. Plonk that down there. Okie doke. So they'll decouple once they're out of fuel, then those will decouple once they're out of fuel, and then this whole unit will decouple, and the orbiter will be released, and then we can do what we want with it, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're about ready, so we'll save, and... Oh no, actually, we haven't included our parachutage for our uh, small area smaller rockets so that's fine right so when they decouple their parachutes will activate but what we'll do is we'll uh, we have to make sure these are the correct ones because I don't think they are so that's those two which means those two need to stay uh, up here so that's fine so we'll just plunk those up there and these up here so that when they decouple their parachutes activate and they fall safely to the ground that's not really important right now, but I like to try and be efficient where possible. Um, despite what I did last episode, but last episode I was just uh, fucking around, you know. Okay, so now we're just adding some struts to hold the thing together because something tells me that this could be a bit of a uh, flimsy ship. But that should fix it up good and nice. So we'll just plonk the final thing on, which is these guys here. So we'll put them and we'll drag those down onto the top of them. Okay, I think we're ready to go, so let's save that, check the sequence is right, bang, 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 bang. Alright, let's launch. Let's get out into space and just show these, the Kerbals, space program people, that we are actually very capable of doing a successful space program. So it's Jebediah once again, despite, you know, his harrowing victory against the evil going straight up and straight down task, he's plonked straight back in that module, ready to do some more work, because he's a champion. Okay, so let's activate our SAS and get ready. So, power up to full. Oh, well, actually about there because we don't want to go wasting our fuel and just preliminary acceleration. So in three, two, one, don't fuck up. We have liftoff. It is slow liftoff, but it is going nonetheless. That's a good thing. Oh dear, it's slow. <laughs> um, but it's holding together really nice, so yeah, I'm not too fussed. So we're going to lose these. I, don't, I really don't think we're going to get up here, to be honest. So let's just see how we go here. Let's just add a manoeuvre in here so that I can work out which way I need to turn, because it always confuses me. Alright, let's just go this way a little bit. 
Okay. Come on, rocket! You're really not going fast enough. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is very quickly going pretty poorly. But we're gonna drop off the dead fuel tanks now. Oh no! Shit fucked up. Shit fucked up. Oh no. <laughs> that was always gonna happen, wasn't it? I'm a r massive rookie. All right. Well. He's not exactly going to die, but yeah, it's not looking good. So we're just going to fly down here nice and fast. And yeah, I'm just going to turn that off. And decouple and parachute. Oof! Cringe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we lost quite a lot then. We managed to keep those two. I have to work out what happened then. I think I... The parachutes might have fucked that up for me, because they activated pretty hastily, and that did did result in the death. So, yeah, we fucked up, but that's fine. So, we'll revert to the vehicle assembly station, and we'll sort that out. Awkward, Jebediah. He didn't die, though, so that's fine. As long as I don't kill anybody, I'm quite happy. Um, oh, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Uh, might be the parachutes. Let's... Let's punk the parachutes down a layer each so that they can have two individual stages. So once they separate from the ship, then that's less of a problem. Okay. Um, there was a lack of thrust, so I might add a few more uh, flame makers. <laughs> uh, let's put a few of these on. These are pretty good because uh, you can punk a whole few bunch of them on, and it won't be a problem. So let's stick those on there, and they'll chew through that fuel, but they will give a little bit of lift at the start, and that's that's important. Um, might also put on some SRBs. Uh, maybe not. We'll just stick with that. All right. So let's find the engines. That's them there, and just drop them down. Okay. So now that's seven, seven, eight, nine. Seven, that's nine nine engines at the down there trying to make a difference for thrust so should be okay it should be okay it probably won't be because I'm actually not very smart <laughs> okay all right whatever let's do it take two see how we go this time hopefully we can get into the air and sort ourselves out because oh god that was really awkward last time okay ready Jebediah now is the times. This is those times. Three, two, one. Nice. That's a bit quicker. Let's go full power. Let's get some real speed going. Such a cool game. I freaking love this game. Uh, those of you who may not know, I'm a huge Trekkie fan, and thus this sort of a game is right up my alley. Anything to do with space for that matter. Uh, okay, lots of things are draining, so let's see if we fuck up this time. And drop. Nice. We are losing speed though, uh, at a worrying rate. I don't know if those parachutes activated either. Can't really tell. Oh well. <laughs> That's uh, out of our control now. Okay, we're going up nice and fast now, so let's uh, sort out our manoeuvre. Just plonk that in there. Alright, Mr. Rocket, we need to head off this way. Ooh, that's losing control. RCS. It's really fidgety, actually. Wow. All those RCS things have made it really fidgety. Look at it go! It's like a space plane. Not quite the right format, though, because this is meant to be, uh... So he's sort of got... Yeah, just fuck that up. Sorry! Sorry, Kerbin! We are leaving Kerbin. We're going... Awfully fast now. Easily going to get into orbit, actually. Wow. Um, add maneuver. So let's just get rid of this maneuver here because it's a piece of shit. Actually, I think I just had something explode. Okay. So now we're going to drop off those. <laughs> That's really scary. That's really scary. Okay. Okay, let's go down to getting us into a circular orbit now. So we need to get some lateral speed, not height. Uh... I think that'll sort us out. So let's put a maneuver here for 24 seconds away. And 
we'll boost out to our apple apsis and make a nice circular orbit there we go so that's that's a bit high I'd rather decrease that a little bit so let's bring that into about there that'll do okay let's boost over here in five seconds four three two one and bang RC has to sort of fix that all right so now we've got to burn for one minute and 40 seconds I don't think we have enough fuel for that but we'll see and I've still got to do a prograde orbit burn here to make the rest of the orbit circular because at the moment we're just going to go and straight back into the ground but we're using all of our delta v trying to get us out to here and that's what we're just going to have to do <laughs> there's no choice really and I'm a little bit scared of boosting so I might just use a editing speed up here because this is going to take a minute and it's really boring to watch